in this tutorial we'll check on how to upload our form onto the owner server successfully and then we'll check simple errors that could be made in our xls form before uploading them and also would we'll also view use the view web format or the view view web property to be able to view our form and check how our form will be like when it's connected or linked to our owner sorry to our odk collect and then we we'll also learn how to print our document in a pdf format yes all right so without wasting much time let's just get started hello guys it's josh again and in this tutorial we'll be diving deep on basically the main purpose of this tutorial is to check errors when creating when sorry when uploading your file onto the owner server sometimes there are errors that we make that we don't pay much attention to so in this tutorial we'll be dealing with that from uploading our xls form onto our owner server and then correcting sample errors okay so in our previous tutorial what we did was we created an xls form and then we uploaded it i uploaded it successfully yes so in this tutorial i have changed the name and then i've made some simple errors whilst i did when uploading it onto the owner server and then we'll check those errors whilst uploading it again all right so let's try and upload it again so add form then choose file to upload so i renamed it as savvy yes questionnaire to upload wait so it says an error has occurred now let's read the error it says there is more than one savvy element named if yes that was the first error i made case sensitive in this named section named title yep so it says if yes so let's jump back to our xls form and then correct that nice so all right if yes right good if yes here was part of the question and then I chose that from here I think choose the if yes from here it says are you are there any high voltage capacitors on the primary side of the transformer and then it says yes so if yes rated you input the value and then blah blah all right so that was how the if yes came in and then it's saying that I can't use the same variable for throughout See, I use it three times over here so I need to change it so note this the variables you create should be different from each other they shouldn't be the same right so let's change this let's correct it by changing it really all right so um, underscore let me make it the unit key yeah. and mind you it should be in lowercase underscore since it's voltage right so voltage root mean square of the voltage so v root mean square rms and then this if you yes, set they are the same rated so i'll just make this k v r one and then save it quit it close it and then let's upload it again and see if there's another error click to upload file to open upload wait so now it has given us another error again it says and then mind you in the, any time you see you see an error <laughs> a lady was like she has uploaded it 15 times and then 
she has fed up you need to read the error message that will point you to the exact location where the error is or where the problem is so it says there are more than one survey elements named title case sensitive again so let's close it jump back to our xls file again says title right okay so the title i mean begin group title so since they are the same let me change it and make this title one then this title underscore title two this title underscore title three four five six i think that's all now let's save this close and let's upload again add form choose xls so you'd have to be doing cor making corrections checking errors until everything will be until everything is successful now let's upload again it says an error has occurred says in strict mode the x form id must be a valid slug and contain no space please ensure that you have set an id string in the settings sheet or have modified the file name to contain any spaces all right so and it's telling me to add a settings tab and then to add a what a form id to it you see all this so in order for it to be successful we have to comply let's close it and then i didn't get this error message at first but that's why yeah developers so we solve problems right all right spaces let me check either i Pieces. Hmm. Okay, let me just add the settings tab. Uh, this should come here. So settings. Right. So the settings has three tabs. Which form ID, form underscore title. But I have the title already. So just form ID, form underscore id yes and then let me just input a dummy date like how i did the other time yep let me save it save close it let's upload again way it has been done okay so save form really it should show it's interesting Is it now? On oh my size of your question, interesting.
Have been here as site survey question dot two, but I'm not seeing it here. Let me upload it again and see what will happen. Oh, I uploaded a different file. Wait, say form with this ID or SMS is already already exists but um, it already exists but I don't know why it isn't showing over here To get the same error again. Okay, let me change the name of that same file again. Fish. Change the form ID to C zero zero nine two blah blah. Yes, save. Okay, zero 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 nine. So let me make it one one zero 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 nine. Save. Let me rename it as just let's get site survey. Let me just make it site survey lowercase site underscore survey. Mm, underscore new. Fresh. Okay, underscore new form ID. Now let's upload it again. form okay okay so meaning I don't know why it was from their server okay so this was the previous one and this is the new one I just did interesting okay since it's here let's view the web form so basically this the web form of it but why is it uh, <laughs> you know why doesn't matter so in order for you to get rid of this or not for this to display you would have to correct it in the settings tab by since there is a form ID here now 
insert good so what you do here is form underscore title period that's all then you indicate the title so blah 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 and it will work for you okay so basically this is what we have this the overview that's how your data will look like and then as you can see the hint i made select all that apply see it's there's it now this to also select all that apply and then this hint that i noted that not more than 200 bits that's how to view okay so let's print it in the pdf format as you can see automatically this is how it will look like so you have to scroll back and then you need to select microsoft print to pdf that's all print now it is preparing then you save it in the direct you name it how we want to name it so site underscore new you just save it so now let's see how it will display on our pc save it on desktop right so yes there's it so as you can see this is the pdf format of it just as simple as it okay so thank you for subscribing and this was the part i used the file format now it says this is automatic i didn't add it, it says click here to upload file it should, and then it should be less than five megabytes yep so thank you for subscribing sorry <laughs> yes you need to subscribe i need that thank you for watching this tutorial and kindly share and subscribe and comment thanks josh peace vlogged out